On this episode of Pimp My Gun, we'll be trying out the mag of holding on the broken Lockwood Mark II and on the M4 with a special pay to win feature. Let's go test them out. When I say that this Mark II is broken, I mean it in the most literal sense of the word. Because if you take a look here on the ADS, you can't even really see through our iron sight. Part of the gun is just like propped up right in front of it. And you can probably see here on the barrel, there's a bullet just sticking right out of it. And in the inspect, it don't fly out into your player's hand and put it back in. And after we shoot it a little bit, and we give it a quick little reload. You can see just the bullets floating there. And I really wanted to try this gun out because we just got that recent lever action aftermarket part. And I wanted to use the original lever action and see if it's any good. And as for this M4's pay to win feature, you might see there in the bottom left that it has dead wire on it. And I did not come in here with dead wire. I still have a full inventory. It came in spawned in with dead wire. So it's kind of similar to Cold War where some weapons had like pseudo ammo mods where it would have just like the slight effect of whatever the ammo mod was on it. But in this game, pseudo ammo mods do not exist. There's just a full ammo mod that you can spawn in with for free. And I actually completely forgot about this weapon, but I'm pretty sure I got this from actually pre-ordering Modern Warfare 3. It came out during an event in MW2 where there was like a soul harvester event and you'd get like extra souls for using this weapon and getting kills with it. And I'm almost positive that when we use Maggle holding on this, we should have like close to a thousand rounds in this. So let's go ahead and pack a punch this. We'll pack a punch our Mark II as well. I'm throwing legendary on our M4, epic on the Mark II, activate everything else. And now with Mag of holding, we get a thousand and twenty rounds on our M4 and a hundred and nineteen rounds on our Mark II. Make that a hundred and twenty. How's this doing against some tier two zombies? Absolutely wiping the floor with them immediately. All right, M4, let's see what you can do against a level two HVT. Already broke armor on him. Took his helmet off. Already at half health. Absolutely covering him in our tracers and he's gone. Ooh, two self revives. I will take that because I will be going down. And actually, since we got these tracers, let's put them to work. Draw a nice little picture. Let these zombies know what's going on. There it is, my masterpiece. Oh, and the ball's faded away. Oh, well. You probably already noticed at this point, but I only have my weapons at pack two and pack one because I was all out of crystals. My stuff's on a cooldown. So I need to do every contract we see for the most part. We need money now. But you know what? Even though this is only pack one, can we take out some tier two zombies with this? My aim's a little off. Oh, but killed them in basically two shots. Maybe three, one for the helmet. One for the head. No, that's not bad. How's it doing against Mercs? How you guys like this? Ooh. Ooh. Okay. It's the Merc Slayer. Time for a Fallis Crystal, please. Nope. A man can dream. And after that contract, we scrounged up enough loose change to get this to pack two. How's this doing against a tier two HVT? If we can actually hit him. Let's see if we can get that mask broken. There we go. Hey, it's doing some pretty all right damage. Maybe I should throw this in tax stance so I can actually see what I'm shooting at. Why don't you stay still? There you go. Okay, I'll throw a decoy so these zombies can leave me alone. We got them to half health already. Only landed like a handful of shots. So far, not the most impressed by this gun, but it is dealing some pretty all right damage despite its flaws. And he's now... Oh, he just tried to juke out my shot. He was ducking and weaving but he's dead. Oh, and we got another disciple. Time to put this pay to win to action. This dead wire is going to be super effective against him and he's already dead. The one thing dead wire is good for is taking out disciples because after it was super OP in Cold War right when that first came out, they nerfed this into the ground and it even spread into this game. Actually, we got a decent amount of zombies right here. How can this Mark II handle a horde? Because the fire rate on it doesn't seem too crazy. Like it's not terrible. Can I actually take out a decent amount of zombies without getting overwhelmed? Eh, for the most part here in tier two, we'll have to give it another test once you give it pack three and try it in tier three. But that wasn't bad. And speaking of pack three, let's go ahead and toss it on our M4 and try to earn some bucks here in tier three. But first, how's this doing here? Fully armored zombie? That was already a week to something and Deadwire stopped them anyways. Can we take these zombies out? Yeah, actually pretty effortlessly. This M4 is not too bad. Not too shabby. It's actually tearing through these zombies. I don't even need an ADS. Oh, you know what? We got a mega abomination right here. The outlast can wait. Let's see how this is doing against him. I think we already missed his laser, so kind of putting ourselves at a disadvantage here. But it's all right. We can still take him out. Oh, the damage already isn't too bad, especially for him not really having his mouth open. All right, we're going to have to throw a monkey bomb. These zombies are pissing me off. Leave me alone. 
Oh, he's yelling. He missed it. Now he's shooting a laser. Can we break a face? We can. Disciple, why don't you get out of here? Let's fight aim for you, pal. And let's throw another monkey bomb. Leave me alone. And you, sir, need to calm down. Jeez. Stop! This is weird not fighting him in my normal spot. We have to adapt to a new environment. Oh, but here comes another laser. This mimic's gonna try to fuck it all up. Oh, but Deadwire hit him and he got stunned. That's the middle face broken. That was perfect. That was the best thing that could have happened. He's very close to dying. One more laser and it should do it. Oh, here we go. That should be it right there. Night, night. And he's gone. Not bad. And now we got pack three on this bad boy. Let's go test it out. All right, zombie. You're our first victim. Ooh. Barely got the headshot there, but it killed. And two shots. A little concerning that it's a two-shot headshot. Broke armor. Oh, and then we just barely scraped his head. Okay, let's switch to attack stance here. Or try to hip fire, actually. Broke helmet. And, ooh, I don't know how much I'm liking this. These zombies are way too fast for this thing to deal with them. Like, it's doing some damage, but so many other guns are better. Like, I came in just to fucking try to take us out. This is kind of giving me the feeling of some of the other shotguns in this game that aren't like the Lockwood 680 or the Haymaker with slugs. They just kind of don't do a whole lot of damage. Oh, we got an abomination right here. He's going after another player that's running away. Why don't you come here? Let me talk to you. What's this doing against you? Not a whole lot, it seems like. Can we at least break a face? Okay, all right, we got it. Didn't do a crazy amount of damage. I've never understood, like, what the process is or what factors go into just an abomination's face breaking. Because I feel like sometimes when I break its face, I'll do, like, a good amount of damage. And other times, I won't do that much damage, but it'll still break. But if we take out all three, he goes down either way. So let's try to take out the one on the right here. Almost. Oh, Disciple, you dick. You want to go down? Night, night. Oh, wait. It's not even doing that much damage to the Disciple. Let me just try to get good at hip firing this thing. Because I think me stopping to hit like tax stance or ADS is kind of hurting me. If I can just try to keep my crosshair at head level and shoot, I think the Abomination just disappeared. While well, I was mid-sentence. What the fuck, dude? All right, well, we're almost out of ammo anyways, so... Let's go see if we can find another one. Oh, we got one right here. Throw a decoy. Get in here. And let's break the face on the right. Wow. Went through that whole laser and didn't get it. Oh, here comes another laser. That face is going down. There we go. That was one shot away. Ooh. No! I hit the Aether Shroud. My thing came out. Pause. And now he's shooting at other people. Don't you guys shoot at my abomination. You leave him alone. He's mine. I think they are doing just that. Appreciate you. We got him to about half health. That ain't bad. Very slow, though. There we go. Another laser. Try to get some shots in. Oof. Throw another decoy. Hop in the fountain. Shoot that laser again. There you go. I love this strat. Oh, we broke his middle face. I didn't even see that. Throw another decoy. See if we can't get him to shoot another one. Perfect. That's what we'd like to see. But look how little damage it's doing per shot. That's kind of sad. Oh, he's still shooting them. Sucks you can't really shoot it while you activate your Aether Shroud. It needs both hands. I can name a few things that need both hands. A Costco hot dog for one. And my penis for the other. Don't fact check that. Oh, and then somebody just came up and killed it with the fucking flamethrower. Did it drop a legendary tool too? Fuck you. That was my legendary tool. I put in all that work. I don't know for sure if that was legendary tool though. It kind of looked like one from the split second it was on the ground, but that guy just came up and snagged my shit. All right, whatever. Where's the Stormcaller at? I'm going to go pay him, pay him a visit. Take out my anger. Oh, Stormcaller. I want to have a chat with you. Let's throw a quick decoy. Let's start lighting them up. This is the perfect weapon to use against them. Ooh, the damage ain't too bad. That Deadwire is putting him work. I already got him close to half health. Now he's at half health. He's actually getting forged right now. Getting drained for all he's worth. But we do have to see what the Mark II does against him. If anything, put it in tax stance mode. Uh, it's hard to tell. It's not really doing a whole lot. I don't think this is the best weapon for bosses, but this insta-kill sure should help. Don't you fly away from me. You get back here. Yeah, there you go. Listen to Papa. Come here. Night, night. Already gone. 
The Abathor really did like great damage against him. That was nasty. Now all that's left to do is go to the Dark Aether. Well, we still got some time left in this game. Let's see if we can get some good rewards from some tier three contracts. Because going to the Dark Aether, I want to get another Mag of Holding to replenish the one we just used this game. And I wouldn't complain if I got some more Legendary Aether tools. Should already have one right now, but some dickhead took it. Ooh, a bounty. Let's see how these can do against the HVT. What we got? Oh, a Mimic? Easy. Where are you hiding at, Mimic? I've never seen this spawn before. You inside the house? Oh, I think he is. And we got an Abomination outside. Ooh! I just collided heads with that Hellhound and fucked him up. Oh, there he is. Aether Shroud? Are we doing decent damage to him? Not really, actually. Is this Mimic too tanky? Or is it Deadwire? Is he resistant to it? We gotta pull up the Pokemon type chart. And don't you worry, Mega Bomb. I got some for you, too. You're just gonna have to wait your turn. You know what? I'll take out a head right now. A little head never hurt nobody. Okay, you're you're a problem. You need to leave. You're fucking up my whole flow. Why is there so many fucking zombies over here? This is ridiculous. Oh, shit! I just tried to jump off the ledge and he snagged me. Caught me like Odell. One tentacle. Got him to half health, though. We just really need this guy to die. Because then most of the zombies around us will die. And I think our abomination despawned. We could have had a legendary Aether tool on him too. Oh wait, no, he didn't despawn. There he is. There's our guy. So now he's dead. It took everybody out except for the abomination. Ooh, and there's a pack two crystal in there. We'll have to grab that in a second. First, we got to handle business. And I saw another jug in there. So I might as well just call this in and take this guy out a little bit faster. Grab the jug. Take this big bastard out. Yeah, shoot the laser. Perfect timing, idiot. Night, night. We got another bounty that spawned right here. They want us to kill things. The game wants to see blood. Oh, and now we got a mega abomination. Let's see if our M4 can take it out because I'm not really the most confident in this Mark II carbine, but we need a little preview of what we can do in the Dark Aether. I want to see if it's actually possible for us to take one of these bad boys down. Oh, shit. Not looking good so far. We're getting hounded. Oh, but there goes a face. What dropped over here? Full armor, I'll take it. And we got another abomination that spawned. I'll take them both. Oh, now he's lasering. You gotta focus all power on him. Oh no, we're out of ammo. Not good. Okay, you know what? This is actually a lot. Second jug, let's go. Oh, it's going right in between all the zombies. We need to lead them away. This is our chance. Let's grab it. And let's go. Everything's dying. Don't care. They're all getting slept. You two abomination, gone. Anyone else want some? Zombies? There you go. Enjoy. What do we get for that? A whole lot of nothing. Cool. And this abomination didn't even drop anything. He just fucking exploded. Fantastic. Oh, wait. He respawned. Oh. <laughs> there goes our jug. And while this abomination's not looking, let's sell this. There we go. Oh, he was looking. He's right there. And now the storm's coming in. So once we can kill him, make a few purchases here at the buy station, then we can head to the Dark Aether. The beast has been slain. Still no legendary aether tool, cocksucker. All right, Elder Sigil, here we come. All right, we only got 15 minutes to get all three contracts here done. We got to start with this bounty because I don't even know if we can take out the Mega Abomination with this. Run out of ammo against that HVT one we just fought? Uh, did not help my confidence. Well, let's hope we can get it done. Oh, it's a Mimic anyways. You know what? I'll take it. All right, what's up, Mimic? Can we take you out? Why don't you face me? Let me shoot you in that little mouth. Oh, it is not doing a whole lot of damage, and he's not happy about it. Decoy. Keep firing. Oh, another decoy. Let's not die. Grab some more. Okay, now we're starting to get through to him. It all relies on that crit. If Deadwire could activate on him, that'd be great. Disciple, don't even get me started on you. Look how much cream we got on his face. He's glowing with it. Bro's all nutted up. Come on. This is the final push. We gotta take him out right here and right now. Another decoy. Now that that's gonna help against these other elites that are now attacking me. But he should be dead right here. Oh. Barely got through with it. A dog bone? I'm just gonna activate that now. Because I have a feeling I'm about to go down. Ah, oh, shit. Oh, they're all jumping my dog. Leave him alone. Let me get to my reward. Is it already dead? Did they already kill it? Holy fuck. Oh, no, he's still there. He's good. He survived. What a champion. But for real, let me get my reward so I can move on to the next thing. Please. And what are we getting out of this? Self-revive. 
And I don't want that. Why are you giving me schematics for shit I already got? Come here, bunny. Let's do this outlast. Let's start this bad boy up. Come on. Just one legendary Aether tool. All I'm asking for. Maybe two. But I'll be fine with one. I'll compromise. Negotiate. Oh, they're jumping my dog again. Leave him alone. I don't think our dog's making it out of this Aether. He's actually getting hounded. No pun intended. Oh, let's, let's bring out the Mark II. Is, is this doing anything in the Aether? We haven't even tried it yet. Not really. Anything I'm hitting is not doing a whole lot of damage. This thing is like a headshot only machine. And even then, still need a few shots. Oh, let's hope all these zombies disappear after I get this to 100%. Please go away. Go away now. Thank you. Golden armor plates. You know what? Wasn't really looking for those, but I'll take them. And our dog did perish. He's gone. He's no longer with us. Last contract. Let's make this quick. Oh, look at that. New tech. The bunny cancel. Time to put some cashmere's to use. First one's going down. Wait for it to pop. And then we start it. Perfect. Same thing over here. Toss it. Pop it. And get it going. And we got two more. One for getting this rocket activated. And one for us to get our reward. Throwing it down. There we go. Easy contract. I'll take that all day. Legendary Aether tool, please. Toss this bad boy down again. And what do we got? I don't want this stupid ass key. What am I going to do with that? I don't want that shit. I'll take it, but reluctantly. All right, let's get out of here. Unfortunately, we didn't get either of the items I really wanted, but golden armor plate's not bad. I have seen people say that they don't like doing this Aether contract or the, the second Aether because you can't get stuff from the old one. And that's not true because we got one of these bad boys. And I just think the contracts here are just a lot easier than the other one. Like the escort contract alone just makes me not want to go to that other Aether, but made it out of this one pretty easily. Well, my overall opinion on these guns with the M4 at least is pretty decent. I can take out some tier three zombies pretty easily. Uh, once you get to like the Dark Aether and like the Elder Sigil, some of those zombies don't go down as easily and it seems to struggle a little bit against bosses. I guess they'll take them out, but it'll take a little bit of time. And even with our pay to win pseudo ammo mod, it's not really that helpful because Deadwire isn't the strongest. It's only really good against like disciples that are weak to it, but it does look pretty cool. I do like that blueprint. And as for our Mark II, it was really, really underwhelming. It seemed to only really do well while hitting headshots. And even then, if they have armor, it's going to be a two shot killing a lot of zombies. Maybe if it was legendary tier, it would have been a little different, but I don't think I'd use a legendary tool on that weapon. And because of how broken it is ADS, I don't really think it's worth using right now. It'll make getting headshots even harder. Uh, attack stance it seemed to have like a bit of a weird spread even when i had like my build kind of towards like hip fire attack stance and even with hip fire it wasn't like the most accurate the the fire rate on it's decent but it's not really a weapon you want to be using in tier three and above and even against bosses it seemed to like struggle it was barely doing any damage but i'm gonna go ahead and end it there thank you for watching i truly appreciate all your love and support and i will see you in the next one later